what better way to spend a rainy Saturday morning or afternoon that is? We're out here in front of Primo Brothers in Escondido, California. No, it's not called Primo Brothers. Oh. It's just called Primos. <laughs> We're in trouble one more time. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go. How else would you like to spend your rainy Saturday afternoon? How about going to Primo's in Escondido, California? We hear that they have a bomb, flaming hot Cheeto burrito. Okay, so that's what we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna go then. try that shit, and we'll let you know because we got some questions to answer. Because my baby over here did some questions on Instagram. So Babe, you we'll are be he's jacked up for this. Okay, I'm so excited. So. Uh, a lot of people had questions. They wanted us to answer questions, so we have a lot of good questions, and we're gonna uh, hop up in here and try this. Um, we're gonna go order and we're come hop back up in to there, the car. And then I'm gonna hop up in there later. I like it. Let's go. All right, three things I love: a rainy day, an ice ass, and Mexican food. You know what we're getting, babe? We're getting that flaming hot burrito. Oh hell yeah, that's happening. Uh, let me get a. Uh, let me get a Modelo. Did you get a burrito? No, I got this. Let me get a burrito too. Oh. Okay. We'll, we'll share the burrito. Yeah, we'll share. I have the Fleming Hot Burrito, regular size with a jalapeno queso, a large drink, and the Fleming Hot Fries, full size, jalapeno queso, and all. I know you guys live over here, but like I'm never out when like you guys are out. Oh, we're and out then about I, And then my today, friend said that she saw you at her Starbucks once. I was like, Oh yeah, I'm always at the Starbucks. Yeah, oh it's so God. nice to so meet nice you. To meet you guys. I'm gonna give you a yeah, hug for too. sure. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Good. Nice to meet you. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh wait, 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 one more. One, two, three. Oh, that's good. Y'all are cute. Oh, we are adorable. Hey, how's it going? Oh, no, no, we are adorable. Thank you, I see your stuff on my timeline all the time. Oh, wow. And it's usually you are so hilarious. Let me take it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. make us look beautiful, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be right. easy. One, two, three. Oh, that's good. That's good. Check it out. Make sure I didn't foul Double it up. Check. Oh, awesome. Yeah. We are cute. Yes. I know. It was nice meeting you, too. You're so handsome. Thank you. I can't wait for this food. I uh, took it easy on breakfast this morning, so I'd be ready to chow down for y'all. Oh, he's been redoing the deck. Look, look, your hand, your hand. Oh yeah. All right, funny. All right, we got the food. We got the food. Check this out. Oh. Damn, look at that monster. That's a three-fister. Look at that, that's a three-fister. I know another three-fister. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, show them what you got. All right. So she got the monster burrito with Cheetos, mm -hmm. flaming hot, and then look what Daddy got. Yeah, he got look the what Daddy he got, got the flaming hot Cheeto fries. Look at that. So this has steak, jalapeno, queso, hot Cheetos, beans, sour cream beans. What else? That's it, I think. Maybe. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and where's your phone? Cause your phone has the questions on it. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Yeah. Let's uh. Oh my God! Let's, oh, Greg, oh, Greg, let's oh, take a these, thumbnail. These crispy fries. Take a thumbnail. Oh man. Mm. We are adorable. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, and we met some sugars in there. We sure did. They sure did. I'll add that in the video. Okay. Hopefully, look, I didn't screw that look, one up look, too much. Look, you can see the hot Cheetos poking through. Mmm. Okay, no, I'll, I'll ask them. I'm going to ask them. All right, them. Go I don't ahead. want you to know. All right, I don't Hold know. on, first let's di dive into the food. All right, I'm going to eat a little bit first. Oh. Oh. Mm. Why did it? It's crunchy, baby. Oh, I got those Cheetos. Mm. Woo! Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm, nice touch. I like it. Mm. And a Pepsi. Oh, yeah. You okay? I had a Modelo in there. That was good. You got sour cream all over mm, your beard. Mm. He ordered a beer. Mm, 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 I had it drank before our order was ready. <laughs> yeah. It even kind of stressing me mm. out this morning. <laughs> I think I got the end with there's like no meat or nothing. It's just Cheetos. Mmm. <gasps> mmm. Yeah, because you do like a meaty end. That's for sure. I know you. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh man. How's your fries? Babe! Okay. <laughs> I ain't even got time for y'all. I just want to say. <laughs> P. 
people love you in the mukbangs because of the way you eat. <laughs> I ain't got time for all that you, talking. You could literally mm. have your own mukbang channel and mm. not talk or nothing and just eat, and I guarantee you people would watch. Mm. I'm so into this. Let mm. me have. Oh, mm. you need a fork. You got a, you got a fork? Who needs a fork? Okay, you don't want a fork? No, well, you can give me a fork if you want. To, yeah, baby, you'll need a fork. You may ask me to do something later, and I don't want any hot residue on my fingers. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. Mm, mm, okay. Mm, mm, mm. I'm waiting to get some meat up in here. This is good. Yeah, it is. I like it. I, it, it really is a good. It's a good mixture. Mm. 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 Mm, mm. Hey. It might be my new favorite. I'm mm. gonna tell y'all. You may not even like flaming hot Cheetos, so but don't even talk to me about that. But you may not even like them. This this you this is worth trying. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. trying. It's, it's a nice. You want a bite? It's very flavorful. Um, mm. Ready? Yeah. Take it, yeah, get that mm. side. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Which one? This side? Just, yeah. This one. Yeah. Oh, daddy. Mm. Oh, make sure and wipe your mouth. Mm. Mm. <laughs> he loves to not wipe his mouth mm. and gross me out. Mmm. Mm. 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 That's good. <laughs> mm. Greg. Mm hmm. We are eating in front of the camera, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are watching us right now. How weird is that? I love y'all. Mm -hmm. Continue to watch me eat. Mm -hmm. Watch her okay. eat. I'm going to do the first question. Let's do it. Let's go. Get it cracked like it. This is so good. It is good. Oh, my God. Okay. You know what? You rolling through Escondido, you stop at this place, holler at me. If I'm out for work, I'll run down here and meet you. But guess what? The food's on you. Okay. <laughs> you just sounded like me. <laughs> okay. Listen. Mm, okay. This was probably the number one question we got besides do y'all want kids, which we have answered before. It's um, It's not the time. Yeah. It's not the time. We've been married 10 years, though, so it's like... When's the time? But we just want to feel when it's red. Like, I don't know. Like, uh, hey, I'm like, oh, I don't want to... Look at it this way. Okay, Are y'all going to be responsible for them for the next 18 to 30 years? No. So guess what? We'll have kids when we damn well ready. Right? Uh, okay. That's what I tell the family. You ready for the first Mom, Mama come here and say, oh, I want the grandbabies. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's what you got my brother for. He can give you all the grandbabies you want. All right. First question. But my mom doesn't, you know, she doesn't hound me about grandkids. First question. All right. Is Tilly a daddy's girl or a mama's girl? I'm going to let you answer, Greg. She's mama's girl, but daddy's little baby. That's the best way I can answer it. Here's how I see she, it. She she absolutely loves her mama. She. And misses her mama when she's gone. Loves her mama. Loves her to death. But. She's, she's obsessed with me. She always has to be on me. She's, she loves me. But then she'll have her days where she's obsessed with this guy. Yeah. And when she hears his truck pull up, she goes nuts. Yes. Or in the uh, or in the times that Chelsea's got something going on and I need to go pick up the kids from school. Our nieces. Or, yeah. Tilly begs to go with me because mm -hmm. that, that's our that's our little uh, field trip. So I love taking her with me. Mm. So the meat on this is good. I finally got down to the meat. Yeah. Well yeah. you know you know, mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. you uh you uh chump on it long enough, you'll get the meat. That's true. All right, okay. so next, next one. Next question. Oh, I forgot. To say who Ashley from Instagram uh, asked that question. So, Thanks for asking, Ashley. Michelle Puffenberger. Oh, Puffin Puffenberger. Wants to know: Do y'all ever argue? If so, how do you handle it? We do argue, at times. But we don't fight. But like, it doesn't. We, like we've we've been together 13, 14 years. We've never like fought. No. What we argue about is like when I'm waiting at the door. This is this is. <laughs> So anyway, like, no. Let me say. All right, go ahead, because this just happened a few. This minutes happened ago. on our way here. Yeah. This is what we argue about. Like if I'm if I'm ready to go, waiting on him, and I'm like, Greg, we're leaving in five minutes. Get ready, get ready, and and he takes for. I'm always waiting on his ass. Always waiting on him everywhere we go, everything we do. I'm wait because he. Oh my God, we're getting ready. To, I'm so okay. We were getting ready to leave. And like, oh, he's got, he's got a fiddle around the house and do it. And I'm like, Greg, let's go. And he's like, get off my nut. Like, that's our arguing. 
that's about the extent of it. Would you say? <laughs> that's true. That's true. That that is. I mean, that's really it. If you can think is that if that's as worst as it, the worst that it gets, let's just deal with it, and we do. I mean, how do we deal with it? We just we just move along. You know, we don't hold it. I just said, get your ass in the car. I, I was a little pissed when she yelled at me because I was on the phone with my dad and brother. We we're talking hot rods and shit. And she's like, damn it, Greg. You done told me to get ready. And yeah, she's at she's uh -huh. at the front door ready, ready to go. Wait, I waited on for like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. That's really so, the extent. So, so it, it is it is on me. It is on me. But she's got her moments. So, you know. They're but, rare, though. But uh, okay. thank, thank you, Miss uh, Puffinburger. So, to legit to quit wants oh. to know, and I like this question. MC Hammer. Are there any boundaries on how far Chelsea can go as far as Greg is concerned? Now, when I first read this question, I was like, huh? But I think she means, like... <clears throat> Things you can do? I think she meant, like, my crazy-ass personality. Like, you know, joking with Daniels the way I do. Some of the stuff I film, like... My, Cause I guarantee you, a lot of dudes probably couldn't handle my personality, and so I think that's what she meant. Like, how far can she go? Like, is there anything that I would do or say where you're like Chelsea, like, you know, I don't like that or I don't approve of that, you know, or, or how do you feel about that? My crazy ass. That's what I took that question as. I don't really think so. Um, we've been together going so, like, on fourteen I could, I years now. I could flash my titties, you know, in Vegas, and well, I mean, for. It would it would catch me off guard a little bit, but but would you be mad or would you be like, yeah, I see you would totally be like into it. Yeah, you wouldn't be mad. No, I don't think I'd be mad. I mean, so there's nothing. I mean, yeah, no, no, Greg's no. like the chillest dude ever. I'm I'm pretty chill, and then chill. Sh she knows she knows me all too well. I mean, mm -hmm. I have I have my moments, right? I mean, I'm pretty. I'm pretty out there. I'm pretty oh wild. yeah. Oh yes. I'm pretty buck wild. He just doesn't film it and put it on the internet. Right. So, um, this kind of ties in with this other question, but April C. Brown, seventy six, wants to know: Does Greg get jealous, or are you really this blessed with a cool marriage? I will answer that. Go ahead. Um, I am really this blessed with a cool ass marriage. Cause I tell you what. We've been together almost 14 years. Yeah. He has never once told me I couldn't do anything. He didn't want me going anywhere. He didn't want me hanging out with this person. He didn't want me doing this or wearing that or do you know, you know how a lot of relationships are. Not once has he ever. And have I ever done that to you? No. Not one damn time. Oh. And especially with my with my personality, the way I like cuz I like I'm a pervert. But not in a nasty way, in a funny way. <laughs> wait, wait, way to redeem yourself with that one. In a funny way. I'm like, not a pervert like, in a nasty way, for just instance, a funny way. For instance, like, um, you know, if we see Officer Dan I'm just making this up. If we see Officer Daniels or something, and I'm like, ooh, look at the bulge in those pants. I think most husbands would be like, that's inappropriate, that's... that's um, you know, that would be a problem. With him, he's like, hell yeah, look at that bulge. You see that bulge? Like, he's... Well, that, that's just how we are. That's what's funny, because when we were in Vegas, right, mm -hmm. most recently with Officer Daniels... Which, that's another... People were wanting to know if we really had a threesome. It was really good. <laughs> hey, Officer Daniels is so soft. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, we did not but, have a threesome... But, hell, that might be fun. But anyway, with, with Daniels, we were in there, and he was in his underwear. You know, I was in my underwear, and I said, damn, that's a nice little rhino horn you got there in your pants. And we just sat there and looked at it. Yeah, like, that's, yeah, that's, how, yeah, that's who we are. And so now, for, for him, uh, his nickname that I have for him is uh, Rhino Horn. So I call him <laughs> Little Rhino Horn. Mm. But anyway, um, let's go on to the next question. That's just how we are, you know? Like, no, he does not get jealous. No, I ain't worried about you. Okay. Mmm. Look, y'all. Look how much burrito I still have left. Mm. Mm. I'm about, I'm about halfway on the fries. Okay. Mm. Mm. I would. I love that they're crispy. Mm-hmm. Try it. Want to bite? Mmm. Ooh. What do you think? 
Those fries are perfect, right? Because mm -hmm. they're crispy. Mm -hmm. And it's I haven't needed any sauce on this, but did they give you sauce? I went and got some. Oh, but uh, I didn't. I was. I've been looking for that uh, 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 jalapeno queso. I don't mm. see it. Do they? Do they mess up? I bet it's in the bottom. I bet they didn't like evenly distribute shit. Okay. Because the top was nothing but Cheetos. All right. So there's supposed to be jalapeno queso in here, and yeah, it's, it, there's not enough. Sauce, I'll so tell you yeah. What, man, this is good. Okay. I would definitely do this again. I would do it again, but I would add extra sour cream and extra queso because I like my stuff saucy. Yeah, big dairy. Okay, big dairy. All right, next question. <clears throat> How is grad school? Okay, okay. Our masketer on Instagram wants to know how is grad, grad school going for Greg? Oh, you want man. to tell them about that, what you're getting here? So I'm getting my master's in biomedical engineering with a specific focus in wireless health. Um, huh? <laughs> yeah. And I post videos of my sister waxing my ass on the internet for a living. <laughs> so uh, uh, I do have my bachelor's in electrical engineering, and I work on uh, electronic devices, computer chips, or integrated circuits. But that's enough about that. That that's sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. That's another question people ask. They want to know what you did for a living. So. Yeah. He's, he's an engineer. Yeah, I'm an electrical engineer, a failure analysis engineer to be specific. So I uh, debug and uh, analyze devices uh, for like your cell phones, tablets that communicate wirelessly, uh, whether that's internet connection um, or uh, through the phone, uh, say uh, 4G, big things coming, 5G. Um, so and, how's your grad school going? Okay, well, as far as grad school goes, um, I'm in my last semester of actual class, and then I have rotations uh, the next semester. So I really only have um, this class left, and then I have to keep a daily journal and basically uh, come up with an idea to better, uh, to, to make it better for the patients and maybe even medical personnel. Um, is it hard? It is difficult. It is difficult working full time and uh, school. It working full time and then coming home and working full time on this pussy and then homework. Uh, you, yes, I have actually, uh, uh, you've been neglected and I apologize for that. So, uh, it's okay, baby. I'm, Just... I'm going to take you out tonight. He is. We're going out on a date tonight. So, we have a date night. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for asking and hopefully I didn't bore you too much with, with what I do. If you have any more questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you. I love it when you say leave it below. Okay. Fina underscore Batello wants to know, what's one thing that annoys you about the other person? Love you. Love you too, sugar. Love you. Okay. You want to go first? No, you go first. <laughs> I got to think about all these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Honest to God, I would say for the most part, it's rainbows and sunshine. Some there are of the time. there are a couple things that I get annoyed with. Um, like we discussed earlier, like when I'm always waiting on him. Yeah, that that is a pet peeve of hers because Chelsea absolutely despises being late. Being late, um, like I just I I don't know, like I don't know, and especially when I tell him like he knows we have to leave by a certain time. And then I'm waiting, and he's like, he's not even getting ready. He's like, putting a little laundry in, or, and I'm like, Greg, let's go. Oh my God. And I shouldn't gripe about him putting a little laundry in, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that couldn't have been done when you were sitting on the couch doing nothing. Right. So that, that, I hate, I hate waiting on him. And then when he gets super stressed with school, which happens, happens periodically. Yeah, it's not, not, it's no. not. Not all the time. It's not all the time. But periodically, if he has a hard semester and he's... Because his job's very hard and demanding, and then his school's very hard and demanding, and then this pussy's very hard and demanding. So... Actually, it might be... Mm-hmm. It is hard. So when he gets, like, stressed, he gets, um... I don't want to say mean. No, I get irritable. He's... He, I'm on edge. Yeah. Like, like the other day, we had... It was cold here in California. We had the heater on. And because I was cold, and he walks in the house from work, and instantly, instead of like, hey, he's like, why you got the hair? Like, just, he's very, like, <laughs> I can't explain it. Very just, uh, like, 
I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. You can tell you can tell when he's stressed out. Right. Now me, like you can't. I'm very you will not know if anything's going on. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm very he wears it on his sleeve. I do. But I guess it's also a good thing cause, so I know how to like And I will tell you this, she does a good job of basically letting me be at those times. Yeah. I, I would like her to, to, to me Go be down more. anymore? Well, not, well, yeah, but maybe ask a little more, hey, what's going on, you know, because I don't really come out and talk about it, but but I, I'm real snappy at first, so I, it kind of turns her away, right? And so I'm the type of person that if, I, if someone's like that, like, I would want my space, so yeah. I just kind of give them their space, and right. Greg doesn't want his space. He no, wants I, I want you to talk about it. Ask so that's something I've, I've actually, I've gotten better at. Uh-huh, for sure. But what, what annoys, be honest, hmm. about, what annoys you about me? Put a little bit of hot sauce on there. Um. Okay. The the one thing that I think that annoys me the most is when we're doing videos. Yeah. And she snaps at me. Mm. Cause it. The thing is. I'm sorry. She has her own idea. I'm sorry. I forgive you. She has her own idea, and I have an idea of what it should be done. And she doesn't really fully express it, or if she does, I'm not really listening because I already have my idea of how it should go down. And it frustrates the hell out of her, and she gets snappy. I think she gets more snappy at that time than I am when I'm going to have my little stressful moment, moments because it's all balled up into a quick split. <laughs> Here's the deal: when I'm filming, when I'm filming a video, Tammy video, a skit, whatever. If I need him to film something for me, I already know what I'm filming. I already know what I'm gonna say during the like. I I just need him to stand there and hold the camera. That's true. That's all I need. Right. But instead, we start filming. He's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. What if you did this? And I'm like, no, no, no. I don't like that idea. I just I want to film what I had planned. And then he gets he gets butt hurt. Okay, let's that do I, this. No, no, no. Hold on. He gets butt hurt that I didn't take his idea. And I'm like, Greg, that, that would be funny for another video. But for this video, I'm filming this. And then he gets all sour. And then, yeah, you're right. That's, yeah, I do snap at you when we're filming. Okay, so let's ask the fans. Should she be more receptive of what I have to say? At that or do y'all like my time? content already? Because <laughs> he, he ain't, he don't uh, I do love, I love your content. Oh, should Daryl have his own channel of just where he's on uh, YouTube eating? Not even talking. I think you should. Oh, oh, oh it got you, in my nose. What'd you do? What'd you the hot sauce got in my nose. Where'd it go? Are you all right? It fell. It got me good. Why are you putting hot sauce on it? I, I don't know. And then it squirted up my nose. That ain't good. That hurt. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Pookie. You all right? Yeah. It got me. You're acting a little dramatic there. Woo! Okay. You mean, it's not like you're uh, uh, eating that uh, black reaper Ooh. chocolate or nothing. That's true. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all about that. Yep. Woo! Yeah. Okay. That day, afterwards? Hey. Okay. Yeah. Greg's I was not don't. loving life. Okay. My guts were fighting from the inside. I felt like I had a little demon baby inside Aww. me. But I, but I passed it. Okay. Your daddy underscore Priscilla wants to know, what does Greg like about Chelsea? Oh. She's very beautiful. <gasps> She's got an amazing personality. And I like the fact that my wife, my bride, my partner in life helps me stay calm. Mm. She's taught me that so well. Look at the glasses half full rather than half empty. And uh, I'm grateful for that. I love her to death. So she's amazing. And as much as y'all think she's a gift to y'all, being able to watch her and listen to her and enjoy her content. Okay. She's that much more to me. So, yeah. Wonderful question. Thank you. What about my titties? Well, hell. If I'm able to milk on those, I can milk on those for weeks. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Okay. Look. What? Oh. It's okay. Just push close. The battery thing went on. Okay. Here we go. Sammy Boo 1015 wants to know. Great question, Sammy. How does Greg feel about living with your whole family? Okay. I love the fact... Tell him the living situation first. Okay. So, for those of y'all that don't know, 
Chelsea's two sisters, Maggie and Beth, live with us, as well as Maggie's two daughters, Lola and Liv. So, if you think about it, as three sisters plus two nieces that are sisters living with us, it's five women. Five doses of estrogen. Uh -huh. If you don't think that that can be uh, uh, a little over the top and, uh, you know, whoo! That, but, but they all think it's hard to live with Greg. They do. No, and but the thing oh, but, is, but it was Greg's idea that they came and live with us. Right. Greg loves the girls. Ch Chelsea asked me, you know, uh, I knew each of them in their situation. I would say... And, go ahead. And I was totally on board with it. Yeah. I knew it was going to be adjustment. I knew there was going to... Uh, uh, it was going to take time. And it was going to be a process. And still, to this day, it's still a process of understanding and just being compassionate and loving. Um, it, it, it has its moments of, of pure hell and difficulty. Let's be honest. I mean, we're being, we're being real transparent. I feel like 90% of the time, but nine, everybody gets along and it's great. Yeah, yeah, 90% of the time, maybe even more than that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we all have our own little space and we're able to... to My sisters love Greg. ...to do what we do. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I love I love, I love love Maggie and Beth. They might as well be my own sisters. I've been with Greg since Beth was like 12. 12 or 13? yeah. Well, so, Beth, what, Beth's 27 this year? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, we're together 14 years. Mm -hmm. So, tw 13 years old. Okay. So, Anything else or next question? Because the next question is great. Well, uh, I wanted to kind of revisit uh, mm -hmm. Lola and Liv being there to be, be there for them, as Chelsea and I feel that we are and capable of. Um, we feel like that that's, that's our uh, uh, call at the moment, you know, to be there, involved in their lives, help take care of them. And uh, that's why we really haven't uh, determined that we want children right away. So, I mean, it's great. It's great having all of them live with us. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next question. You, ta you, you tackle that, baby. Because oh, I think I'm about tapped on that. Okay. Oh, shit. Next question. No. Laura Olvera wants to know, okay. favorite sex positions? Mm. Can't beat a good doggy. I love doggy. He love. Oh my god, he loves doggy. But I do like her riding on top. Riding on top. Mm -hmm. And I can ride. Mm-hmm. I mean, you have a shirt down there that says something about wanna be cowgirl. Something like that. Um. But what's your favorite? Oh, I love doggy, but I also like to get you on the side of that bed. Get your, get your legs all, Babe. all prawled up and just go a little. Boop, mm -hmm. boop, he does. Boop, boop, boop. He does. That's a, that's a fun one. You can't you can't beat doggy. Hey. Dog, doggy's probably mine. But I'm gonna tell you something. And it's probably the easiest for me. You just bend over and pop top oh, it up. Oh, I mean, she she puts that face down and that ass up. Mm -hmm. Is that appropriate? Can we, can we? Oh, we can say anything we want. Oh, I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks for that question. That was a great question. Next question, I think. Okay, last, this is the last question. Okay. What's the dirtiest, nastiest thing y'all have ever done in bed? And that was asked by Amy Cunning underscore. One time when we were dating, my I was living with my grandma and my grandpa. You know what story I'm gonna tell? And um, <laughs> they had a garden. They had a, a summer garden every summer. So there was always like fresh Fruits and vegetables. zucchinis and squashes, you know. And I was <sighs> laying in my bedroom. Nobody was home. He was over. This son of a bitch walks in with a yellow, a yellow summer squash and says, spread them. And literally just fucked me with a yellow squash. And then his tight ass didn't want to throw it away. Cause he was like, it's a good squash. Yeah. You know, we didn't, it, it was perfect. I mean, I didn't like suck it, you know, I didn't do nothing to it with my pussy. So he just washed it and put it back. Guess what? A couple days later, guess what we had for dinner? Squash. Summer squash. <laughs> I would say that's probably the nasty. And that's not nasty in, in terms of like what we actually did, but it's what we did after in terms of washing it and eating yeah. it. That was nasty. Uh, 
I've had you pee on me in the shower before. Oh, he loves that. But that's not like a sex... You don't, like, get off to that. But he thinks it's funny. He'll be in the shower and he'll be like, hey, come pee on me. Or, no, 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 no. I'll be in the shower and he'll be like... He'll open the door and just start peeing on me. <laughs> All the time. I'm like... I just let him. He loves it. It's just fun. It's fun. <laughs> All right, Shooks. Hey, what do you want to see us do next? Where do you want to see us mukbang next? We got vlogs coming on this channel. Woo! Okay? Man. Hey, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, all the goods, all right? We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Anything you want to say, Greg? Thank you for the questions. Uh, we appreciate you. We love you. And leave comments below. We love to read them and check you out. <laughs>